Hi, this is a video to show you how to make mailing labels on your computer using Google Drive. So for me, I have a spreadsheet where I keep all my addresses for Christmas cards, let's say, and I want an easy way of transferring that into a label kind of format. And Google Drive gives me a fairly easy way to do that, at least much easier than I ever found with Microsoft Office, which was always a struggle. Let's have a look in more detail about how you set about doing that before I move on to that page. So what we have here is my first line of my Christmas addresses .xls has been copied over into a format from the spreadsheet into an address label format as you can see. Let's carry on and paint a bit of a picture about how this all looks in practice. So my spreadsheet, which is where my data is held with my row for every address that I want, is on my PC or it's on my device and it looks kind of like this and we need to get it onto Google Drive. I'll show you how to use Google Drive, but you do need to have a Gmail, a Google login. Without that, this video just ain't going to work for you. So Google Drive's in the cloud, and we're going to upload our chosen spreadsheet into Google Drive. And from there, we're going to run an add-on in Google Drive. And this will convert our addresses to our addresses to labels. And then from there, we uh, so yeah, that, that actually gives us our document containing our labels. And from there, we come back down from the cloud, probably because we want to actually print out our labels onto our envelopes. And that's the end of the cycle. How do we do all this? So I'm in Chrome. If I open up a new tab, because I'm logged in with my Gmail account, then I have this icon here, which says Apps. If I click on Apps, then it takes me to Google Drive. So just to put that in context, so we are now on Google Drive, and we're logged in, but we don't yet have a spreadsheet. Coming back to Google Drive then, I've just to keep things a bit tidy, I've set myself up a folder. You don't need to do this, but it's so I have things in kind of one place. I'm now going to upload my spreadsheet from my PC onto Google Drive. I've upload files. And if I navigate to the folder where I know I've got all my uploads, I've got this file here, christmasaddresses.xls. So I'm going to upload that. That's complete. And I can now take a look at it. Now, this symbol here means that this has come from an Excel spreadsheet. And what I have found is that this add-on does not play terribly nicely with Excel as opposed to the Google format, the Google Sheet. So what I tend to do is you will see this icon and if you hover over that then we see open with Google Sheets and that's what we'll do. So that kind of forces it into the Google Sheets format and we'll just prove that we can just do something in that area. And that has now given us our Google Sheet version, let's say, of Christmas addresses.xls. If I now go into File, Move to Folder, I'm going to go to my Labels demo. This is just so that I can find things easily. So that should be all nicely moved. If we then go to, to back to Drive, back to Labels demo folder, 
and we've got our spreadsheet here. Let's open it up again, just to remind ourselves what it looks like. First row has to be the names of the column headers, and the data starts from the second row onwards. And we'll see that that's what's required by the add-on. If we now start a new Google Docs, I'm going to save this as rules. Why is that then? Because this gives us the instructions, this tells the add-on how we want or what columns we want to see. That's why I'm calling it rules. Add-ons then. So let's see where we are in terms of the context. So we've got our spreadsheet uploaded. We've saved it into the Google Sheets format and we can move on. So where we are now is this kind of area here where we are setting up the rules that will actually convert the addresses to labels. So we click on add-ons, get add-ons, and we're looking for Avery, A-V-E-R-Y. They, as in the uh, label maker, you may have heard of them. You don't have to use their labels. I use plain paper and guillotine the output. So let's search for that. And we found one entry and that's the one we want, Avery Label Merge, and we click on Free. It then asks us for permission to do certain things. Fine, as far as I'm concerned, they're reputable, and they ain't going to do me any damage. Now, so we've, a we've added in the add-on, but we haven't kicked it off yet. So if we click on Add-ons again, we see there's a new entry, Avery Label Merge, and I'm going to say New Merge. Select an Avery product. This is what we want, address labels. So there's a raft of options here. I'm going to pick, say, 14 labels a sheet, seven down, two wide. Select that. And now it's asking us what spreadsheet do we want to use for our source data? So just looking at the context again, we want to make use of a spreadsheet. We're then going to convert that into labels. Let's go back to our rules document. So we'll pick that Xmas labels, Christmas labels spreadsheet. Now, we know that it's recognized it as being a kind of valid format because it's found these column header names which correspond to that row one that we talked about where we have the name, the address, the city and the postcode. You don't have to use all of these columns. For instance, I could have had a, an additional country code or a country column in there, but chosen to leave it out if everything I'm mailing is in the UK, for, for me anyway. So how do we actually tell it what to include? So what we do is we click on name, assuming that's a column that we want, and that appears in this box here. We then hit return then click on address. Hit return again. You get the picture. And finally postcode. And again here it recognizes that we have data in row 2 onwards. The row 1 contained our rules, let's call them our column header names, name, address, city and postcode. Now we're going to merge this. Now this takes a little while but I mean kind of a few seconds rather than instantaneous. And it's given it this default name of Avery followed by the model number or whatever it is of the particular label set that we've chosen. So we'll open that. And then going back to our little overview, I'm going to call this, so we started out with Christmas Addresses XLS, I'm going to call this Christmas or Xmas lab Labels, just so we don't have this default name here. So Xmas Labels, I'm going to OK that. So now we can move to the next stage, if that's what we want to do, of actually 
performing the print. So, so far, we've well, this part of the journey, we've been in the clouds on Google Drive, and now we're going back into our home work area, and we're going to continue printing. So we're going to File, and Printing certainly I think that now in Google Drive is, is way better than it used to be. Um, we see a preview with the seven down and two wide that we asked for. That's page one. If we click down a page, same again. So it's done what we asked for. So now I can guillotine that up, or if I have a set of labels that match that exactly, I can use those set of sticky labels. And that's pretty much job done. So we've come full circle here. We've uploaded our Christmas addresses in their spreadsheet form. We've run, we've executed this add-on. Let's move, change it into, or produced a, a document with labels. And now maybe we've printed them onto our envelopes. That's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.